Welcome to Monday Morning Quarterback. I am your host, Ryan Oliver, and today I'm very excited because I am joined by a rising talent from the 2025 class, Braden Smith. Braden, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Braden, let's start here. You are a quarterback from the state of New York, and I feel like New York is often an underrepresented pool of talent. There are a lot of talented athletes in the state of New York, and you're a representation of that. You're a talented quarterback with great arm strength, great accuracy. I want you to tell me a little bit about how long you've been playing the quarterback position and what you love about that position. Uh, I've been playing quarterback for as long as I can remember. Um, just forever, I guess. I think I started, I was four, maybe even three. Right. So, yeah. Uh, what is it about quarterback that you enjoy? What about the position is like your favorite aspect? Uh, I just like the being able to read the defenses and be able to dictate what's going to happen, just using my ability to help my teammates also. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you said that you've been playing the position since like as long as you can remember, basically. Yeah. Was there something like obviously if you're three or four, that's a long time ago, so you may not remember how you kind of started. But was it that you had like a stronger arm than your peers or or just a more of an ability to play the position, or is or is it just something that just kind of happened? Uh, well, mostly I just wanted to play it because I'm a Tom Brady fan, so yeah, it was a big influence. But I also feel like I had a natural ability to just kind of figure it out at a young age. Yeah, no, that's definitely cool. I feel like uh, the motivation to play football, like for for athletes, starts with like your favorite player. Like for me, it was uh, Randy Moss made me want to play football. Like I was like, oh, I want to I want to jump over people and catch passes. Like that seems like amazing. And then that trickled into me playing football. So I totally get how Tom Brady could be a um, you know a motivating factor. I want you to tell me in your own words about your progress. Where do you feel like you're you are right now in your game and how you come along over the past couple of years? Uh, I definitely feel like I've come a long way in a uh, few years. Just being able to get uh, stronger, faster, just read the game better. Um, learn how to like throw to a spot when I'm throwing instead of just waiting for my receiver to get open. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure like just, just the repetition and, and years of work that you've put in have kind of helped you progress to the point you're at now. I want you to tell me, Braden, a little bit about some of the behind the scenes stuff that you do to work on your game. I know athletes like you that are dedicated to your craft at a young age, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes so you can perform well on game day. It's not just as simple as like, oh, I went to practice all week and I played like you're doing, you know, other stuff. Can you tell me a little bit about what your training looks like that you put into the quarterback position? So I have uh, speed and agility workouts and strength workouts three times a week and then just practice every single day. Other, Whenever I can, I just practice. Right, right. And it's like, especially when you play quarterback, there's like a just another level of dedication that's expected too. So I think that 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 makes total sense. It's kind of like whenever I whenever I get a chance, I'm out there throwing the ball or, or doing something. There's not like a ton of downtime with with that. Um, in your own words, Braden, what would you say your strengths are? Uh, I'd say my decision making and my ability to break down the defense and because I already I was just figuring out what they're going to do before the play even happens. So I just know what to do. Yeah. I want to add to that. You know, one thing about Monday morning quarterback is the whole point of this is to pump you up. And I feel like uh, athletes, especially quarterbacks are kind of taught to be like modest and you don't want to sound like you're, you're bragging about yourself. So I'm going to brag for you a little bit. I really think your arm strength and your accuracy are, are things that stand out on your film. I think that you have good anticipation and you kind of can like throw your receivers open. And I think that's something you were talking about that would, that you felt was going on with your progression. And I think that uh, the strides that you've, that you've taken um, in that part of your game, I think that that shows on film. And I think that uh, your ability to throw on the move, you actually have, you also have, um, I meant to say uh, good athleticism to like make a play when something breaks down um, is the ability to, make plays with your legs something that you feel like is a strong suit of yours yeah it definitely is and not even just running but just being able to scramble out of the pocket make yeah. it happen yeah I, I totally I think that that's um 
that that's a really great skill that you have and, and it's just kind of like improvising it's not necessarily like a design play or anything like that it's like the play broke down and being pressured like I can roll out keep my eyes downfield locate my receiver I can make something happen with my legs I think that versatility is is very um a very great a very good skill and an important skill for you um I want to ask you about your leadership you're a quarterback leadership is something that's expected at your position would you say that you serve as a leader of the team or teams you've played for and if so what is your leadership style? I definitely feel like I've always been a leader. Like I'm not a person that's just going to go and yell and just stuff like that. But I try to lead by example and just put, like the, play the best that I can and try to encourage my teammates that they can do the same thing also. Makes total sense, Braden. Um, if I've never seen you play and I come to a game where Braden Smith is playing quarterback, what can I expect to see? Well, you can expect to see just well-executed plays uh points just the offense run the way it's supposed to be run and just a good overall game absolutely uh Braden is there a, an area of your game most athletes say I'm working on everything but is there an air a specific area of your game that you've identified and you say okay if I can get better in this area I can take my game to another level have you identified that area uh right now it's just everything you know like of course there's some things that are going to be a little better than ever, others but right the more I can just keep working just get everything better it's going to make me better as a player overall yeah absolutely and and being that you know you're a young quarterback I feel like there's just so much room to grow in every area you know um, I think that an area that that's always good is like technique and footwork being sound and, and throwing mechanics is always something that like young athletes are guy I'm like get if you get that down like your natural ability to throw the ball and stuff like that will come to, you know you already have that but the, yeah. the mechanics the footwork and stuff is very important uh Brayden let's let's shift gears a little bit I want to know about you off the field when you're not playing football when you're not at school I'm sure that's like the majority of your life school and football but what do you do in your uh, in your free time for fun, like hobbies and things of that nature? Um, I hang out with my friends a lot, and I just play Xbox. Just I don't know, just hanging out, stuff like that. All right, so if we're if we're firing up the Xbox in your free time, what game are we throwing on? Uh, usually, it's going to be Madden or MLB. Okay. And occasionally, I'll play NBA Two K, but I'm not very good at that one, so I got I you. from it. Back, back in my day, I used to be good at Madden, but now I'm, I'm like 30 and I've retired my Madden like ability. Like I tried to play one a, like a couple of years ago and I was so bad. I was like, wow, I used to actually be good at this, but, <laughs> but now I'm so bad. So uh, I, hope, I hope that you're having fun with Madden. I really enjoyed it back when I was in high school too. So that's cool. Brayden, this is the most important question I'm going to ask you in this interview. At least to me, it's the most important question. And I ask this to everyone that interviews with me for the first time. Before a big game, what is in your headphones to get you pumped up to go out there and make big plays for your team? To be honest, I really just don't listen to anything. I just okay. want to just put them in and just have nothing going, just me and my thoughts. Yeah, so I get that answer from quarterbacks more than any other. Like, if there's someone that tells me that they don't listen to music, it's always the quarterbacks. I think it's very interesting because I think there's a level of focus that you need to have is like, the, the coach on the field as a quarterback. So I think that a lot of quarterbacks tend to say like, no, I, I just kind of like envision myself making plays. Is that something that you do? Or is that what you're thinking about when you say you're with your thoughts? Are you like, okay, I'm like going to go out there and I'm going to do this. this? Is how I execute? Is that what you're, what's kind of going through your head beforehand? Yeah, it's just thinking of what I'm going to do on the field and just mentally preparing myself. I like that. I think that, that that's awesome. I think that uh, I was definitely the like, put on music and like blaring type but I also played running back and wide receiver and not quarterback but I totally get how if, like if I feel like if I was a quarterback I might listen to something that was more calming like less and not so rah-rah because I yeah. was responsible for going out there and like leading the team in terms of like x's and o's and making sure everyone's in the right spot and all that stuff so I think that's really cool that you kind of envision yourself like out there on the field making the plays so you can go out there and do your thing and, and, and throw touchdowns um yeah. Brayden, is there anything else that people should know about you that they may not know? Not really. I don't know. I don't know. Not really. <laughs> sometimes I always ask that question because sometimes someone will have something they're like, actually, you know, uh, 
you know, I do X, Y, and Z, and it'll be something that you totally, like, if I didn't ask, you wouldn't tell me. So it's yeah. totally okay not to, uh, you know, just to be like, nah, you know, you, we covered everything. Uh, Brayden, it's been a joy to have you on Monday morning quarterback. It's been a pleasure getting to know you and keep representing for the state of New York, man. I think that, I think that you guys have a lot of talent there. And I think that sometimes it gets overlooked. So thank you for joining me on Monday morning quarterback. Thanks for having me.